Hey guys, so I am here with our September morning basket video. I'm sorry that um, it's up a little bit late this month, but we didn't switch all of August morning basket over until we were ready. So this is September's morning basket. Um, I'm not going to show the bookshelf this month. The bookshelf is in transition right now because I decided to use our week off as a five in a row unit week. So I'm pulling some books right now to redo that bookshelf. So I think I might um, share that in a couple of weeks here anyway. So just showing you our morning basket this month. So um, as always, we have story of the world in here. We have the morning exercises for all the yearbook. I seriously could go on and on and on about this. Um, you'll see this every single month now until the end of the school year. So this is a book that has just different selections of poetry and history. Uh, it tells you historical, um, the birthdays of historical figures and gives you some passages just to read just some good things for your kids to know and just some good thoughts to meditate on this runs from september through june i believe but because we didn't do school in june we did junes in august um this past you know this past august so i really love this we always find something interesting in here and this is a great thing to add in if you are doing calendar time. So part of our morning basket is we do our calendar time with our, young, our preschooler and also my little toddler is kind of coming up into that as well. So that's something that like my older two kids, my second and fourth grader are kind of like, yeah, okay, we're gonna sing about the days of the week again, like we have been for the last five years. Um, so this is kind of like a big kid calendar time. So this is something that we pull in during our calendar time with the little kids. So this is a great option if you are doing that, you know, the multiple age range thing. Um, we are not actually reading this right now because we w went ahead and used um, subscribe to Audible, but I have this in here in case they wanna look at it while we're reading the chapters, which they haven't done yet. But I will say keeping this in our morning basket has reminded me on occasion to turn Audible on. So it's gonna stay in there for now. We also have our scrunch maps. I showed this in my homeschooling favorites, so if you're interested in seeing what these open up to be, you can check out my homeschooling favorites. I will link it up here in the corner. We use these, by the way, for our map drills and also for Story of the World on occasion. So I have the US and the world map here. I also added this in this month. These are just some note cards. I'm wanting my kids to really get a better grasp on how to address an envelope, how to really just be really quick with their address as well. So we've got a bunch of different, I just, I'm always the one to grab some different stationery like in the different dollar sections. So I've got some stuff in here once a week or so, we're just gonna each write some cards. So that's in there. I always like to add a fun thing or two. So I have this book, Games from Long Ago. This is kind of a fun addition if you're wanting to break up the morning basket a little bit. So it just goes over different games that kids would have played from back in the day. So this is a fun way to get moving. Um, we go right into recess, like our little unstructured outdoor time. We have a couple different outdoor times each day in school, but around 10 o'clock each morning, we either go on the patio or scoot around on the driveway, I pull out, and I'll show you guys this soon as well. I have a little recess wagon that's just full of different activities and toys for them to play in the driveway or in the road or on our patio. Um, but this outdoor book, this is an Usborne book, this gives all sorts of creative ways to be outdoors. Different things that you can do, discovering wildlife, um, hunting creatures. Let's see, what else do we have in here? Rain and snow, well, not so much there for us. Well, the rain, yeah. Different things for different weather. All sorts of fun ideas. What is this one here? Use your own wilderness language. So this is a fun book and I thought it would be a little bit inspirational for the kids before we go outside sometimes if they wanted to peek through this. And then the other fun thing that I have in here right now is this, Into the Forest Nature's Food Chain Game. If your kids were ever into Pokemon, um, this kind of reminds me of that, but uh, educational. So basically this each creature or 
uh, piece of nature. There's everything from acorns, ferns, to like wolves, bears, um, fungus, all that kind of stuff, has energy points. So basically you challenge each other with what nature cards they have and you collect the most energy points. So this is a really, really fun game. This is something that my youngest, my, or my youngest son, my four-year-old, plays with the older two. They know where to give him a little bit of grace or mercy. <laughs> they know when to shed a little bit of mercy on him. Um, or I will play it on his team, and then the older two will play it on their own. So this has been a really fun addition. And I did put this in my Insta stories on Instagram. So if you kind of want to get a peek at us playing this, that is on my Insta stories under the label homeschool. So my Instagram is in the description box below. We have Simply Charlotte Mason laying down the rails. Right now, we are focusing on the habit of cleanliness. So we're actually starting that this week. We're starting that on Monday, which I believe is the day you'll be seeing this video. Um, and we do each habit for about six weeks. So I'm really, fingers crossed, hoping that that one, above all others, <laughs> really sticks with them. Uh, I've also, did I not switch out? Jesse's? I guess I didn't switch out Jesse's activity book. My boys are wrapping up this dinosaur activity book. They each have, I don't know, maybe a week's worth of pages left in here. These activity books are something that I stick in here, activity books or coloring books, just as something to bring them to the table. Before they come to Morning Basket, they're working on some independent work. So they, when they finish their independent work and they finish their chores, they know to grab their activity book and sit down. That brings them to the table and keeps them there so they don't get distracted while they wait for the other kids to finish their chores and independent work. So having an activity book is a kind of a fun way for them to transition from doing chores or doing some independent work and getting ready to be seated at the table for a little bit. It's also beneficial for me because I can start to see who's ready and I can wrap up whatever I'm working on, whether that's dishes or playing with the baby or whatever. I see them start to gather. Bella, we switched over to this step-by-step -step drawing animals. She was doing this. I guess I haven't taken that out yet. So we switched her over to the step-by-step -step drawing animals. This was a book on her little Osborne wish list for quite some time. So we finally got that in a recent order for her. Here you go. You can see that she's been doodle doodling around here. So there's that. Next, now this is new. I was having them memorize individual Bible verses, but changing that week to week just wasn't really something that was sticking well with my kids. So I decided that each month we're going to try to memorize a passage of scripture. So this month we're gonna do Psalm 23 because when we were doing Psalms in our Picture Smart Bible, the kids were really, really that idea of the shepherd and the sheep really clicked with them. So we're gonna go ahead and memorize this. I'm not sure what we're gonna do in October, but I do know that in November, instead of scripture, I was wanting to memorize the Mayflower Compact. So I think I might switch up our memory work, definitely month to month, not week to week, and have it go between passages of scripture and historical documents. It's kind of fun to have the creative freedom here on things that you really want your kids to know. Like for example, in Story of the World, we just studied the Mayflower Compact and it wasn't really something that I was all that aware of when I was in school. So that really um, interested me and got me excited. So things like that are just exciting. And, thing, and the reason that I really love Morning Basket because you just have more opportunity to introduce things that you find interesting and that you think it would be really cool <laughs> for your kids to know. Uh, I have our map drill pages in here. We're doing North American geography this year. Um, these are already on their clipboard, but I just keep the extras in here just in case. Also for memory work, we do hymns. And so this month we are memorizing crown hymn with many crowns. That's been a harder one for them to memorize. So we're actually on week five of that. We have our book of centuries. I have to admit, we didn't get around to doing any of this book, the Have Fun with the Presidents, last month. So I'm really hoping, and I'm gonna give it a good shot this month. If it doesn't work out, then I'm gonna set it aside for a while, maybe wait a couple years before I pull it out again. But I'm hoping that we are able to get around to this. But again, I've really tried with this book for a couple of years. This just might be the book that gets dismissed. And then, of course, we have their clipboards, as always, which is where we keep their um, coloring pages, worksheets, things that we're gonna work on together. They do have folders that they do in the morning. That video is coming up at the end of this month. 
but in those folders are their individual by grade level kind of worksheets. These are worksheets that we all work on together. So again, like I said, Story of the World coloring, coloring pages, their Bible story coloring pages, things that we are all doing at the same time. Right now I have this, the unique way that God made me. It's an all about me book that is, I think it's only like two or $3. You can buy it on Ann Avance Paper Co's Etsy. I will link her shop below. This is a really cute, the unique way that God made me. And then there is the family that God gave me. There was one that was like me in God's world, the place where God has set me. So it's just a kind of like an all about me beginning of the school year kind of unit. So they're each doing that. We have our picture smart Bible, which I've said before, but just in case you're new here, um, I put this in my own binder so it doesn't come with this like rainbow chevron folder, but we love the picture smart Bible and I should do a whole nother review on this, but the kids essentially illustrate their own Bible, one page that represents each book of the Bible. So I'm loving that. Isabella's doing Rosetta Stone Spanish. The boys are interested in doing Spanish, but I'm just not sure that they're old enough. Well, I'm definitely sure that they're not old enough to do the Rosetta Stone Spanish as of yet because they're not strong enough readers, even in English yet. So I'm um, not gonna introduce too much to them as of yet, but I will do this. This is the Usborne internet linked first thousand words in Spanish. So I thought it would be fun for them to just take some time to start labeling things around our house and to just add in a couple new words here and there. And then last but not least, they're loving this 50 States book. I wonder if you can even still see, I'm like stacking right in front of the camera. Sorry about that. The 50 States book. So every time we add a new state to our map drill, we spread out our scrunch map on the floor and then the kids see the state in here and just have a good time going through it. I actually haven't even read a lot of the facts to them. I've just been letting them discover this on their own. So this has been a hit so far and I'm excited because it was a decent investment. Yeah, $30, so they better like it. Anyway, so that is my morning basket this month. Let me know in the comments what kind of things you guys are loving in your morning basket. What are the things that you think are the most beautiful or the most important to you that you love to put in your family morning time? And I will see you guys soon. Bye.